Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighter's League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of this wonderful game. Time for us to immerse ourselves in the world of the 1920s with a little bit of horror and a lot of action. So we find ourselves in an unfortunate situation, right? Because um, Marteau and Strum are both going to hit their breakpoints if we're not intervening. Nicastro is also advancing and technically we want to push them back. So you can't have it all. Although there is a event in the world with minus one to each of uh, them going. Uh, we are essentially forced to either uh, hit back Strum very badly over here or uh, fight over here against Strum and then also define, uh, de defeat Str uh, Strum himself, which will apparently lower their activities. So that's one of the things that I've also seen. If you can lower their activities over time, that'll work very well in your favor. There are two uh, broader missions, both with 10 skill points uh, each. But I think for now, what I've uh, figured out uh, is keeping this here at bay is a very good strategy at some point. However, we need to um, push forward and achieve something in the storyline. So this time we're going to go with Strum. The next time I think we want, uh, we're going with Nicastro uh, and are going to take the first of the elements. Still trying to get the Serenity or KA uh, resource. But for now we're fighting Strum himself. A critical talisman is on the line. And for killing Strum we get 4 Ether, which is our upgrade resource, and 9 skill points. And I think it's going to be an overall great mission. Uh, really liked uh, how she started uh, the last time, but I'm not sure if I want two melees on this mission. We might be better off with um, taking uh, taking Isaac here. Has 25% chance to not do anything. That would be bad. The other option is continuing to use uh, her. You know what? Let's give it a try. The triple lady squad uh, seems like something uh, that could work out in our favor. So let's start the mission and give it a go. Time to tear down the obelisk. Triple ladies are on the prowl. One thing that I learned is always look out for those little secrets. Not bad. I'll take it. Well, that's one. Sure, there are more. Follow me. Thunderbomb, that sounds good. I think those were the ones that knocked down. Lacking in subtlety. <laughs> uh, yeah, consumable deals AOE knockdown. Alright, that was a call. Let's move. You would have never guessed. Let's get on with the mission. So Picking up some extra supplies. Oh, look at you. Look who's there. A moment. the shadows what do we have here sucker punching i think we just need to get a couple of uh, these dudes down the quasi immortal strum has plundered his way to power his brutal attacks burn anyone foolish enough to approach him okay so he uses fire and he's a plunderer is what you're saying can't be 
uh, killed and immune to take down. Well, immune to take downs. He can't be. Uh, mm, essentially stabbed to death. Well, this is going to be noisy. This should buy you some time. I hear movement. Out of the way. Ah, the enemy is close. Can't get him down. But we eliminated his thugs. Enemy is very worried, uh, very now. Come on, come on. Don't want to be spotted out I have it all under control. ancient summoners on earth curse of life okay oh so that is healing them I like kind of how the technology and magic are interwoven from time to time. We are being watched. It was them or me. Mm -hmm. Someone's creeping about. <clears throat> okay. Don't want to be spotted out here all by ourselves, of course. I don't know what that guy is. But we can't kill it. Not with a takedown. Good, we can hide here. That's a good start. Got a few frag grenades uh, there. What else? More frag grenades. Okay, interesting. Bit of lore that we don't need. A souvenir. More ether. Med kit, which we potentially need after we're done with him. Nah, can't charge in. Curse of life. I don't know what that means, but maybe we can look it up. What I can tell you is that these two guys here are being knocked down. And we need to destroy the shields of the obelisk. Good. Everybody is inspired. That's good. I like it. Keep going. We can beat them. Give action points over to both of them. Good. Celestine moves up all the way to here. You can see there is a single enemy there. Let's do I will 
Face my fate. Occult gambling, of course. Didn't work out. And we need the speed buff for our melee. Okay, cool. We're bringing everybody as close as possible. Knock down. And just hammer home that message, I suppose. I assume these two guys that are knocked down will be healed. Curse of life, not sure what that means. If it means that you can't kill them in there. Now they're definitely getting healed. But I'm sure you guys are not immune no, to stress, sure. right? You, um, you're very good at what you do. Called gamble. Yes, and we're getting some extra stress. Why? Good. This guy is definitely ready uh, to be killed. But before we do that, now you know your place. Kill her. Fit. Very good. Then kill this guy. The quicker we cut through them, the better. Uh, then we're knocking him right into the wall. You stay away from me. Just before eliminating them. Yeah, the stress flask definitely worked out very well. Still got. Uh, uh, this cyan here. Okay, knockdown, fantastic. And we're shredding armor. Minus cooldowns, minus cooldowns, this guy's bleeding, fantastic. That's what we want to see. Um, I need to use all of the actions that I do have in order to just get stuff down. More enemies are going to come, and we need to destroy that obelisk. The one thing that I know for sure is that this here is not going to go well if we're not destroying it. One, you two. Fantastic. Get extra AP. Then we're giving you more inspired. Regain one AP automatically. Very good. And then we're continuing to hit you. Cooldowns reduced. Yeah, we can't gamble more. Frag grenade here. 
removes a lot of uh, the problems. We're going to use a second frag grenade because that's a triple, uh, so double kill plus that. Um, you took your eye off the prize. Regaining AP. Moves to here. We can hit this guy twice. And I think we do have enough AP to do that. Moves up. One hit. Poisoned. Poison damage weakness. I like to see that. Mars is bright tonight. Good job. Good. I don't want to take damage, so Too bad, boy. we're instead removing another shield generator and using our second ultimate. There are more guards coming. Doesn't look perfect. You know, might as well take you over. Very good. Perfect time for that mesmer uh, mesmerizing. And we're going for full cover. Not sure what that curse of life does. It doesn't create stress or anything. Which in itself means it's not that bad. Don't like to stand in the open. But unfortunately we don't have a lot of great options here. I think I'll hold back on uh, the hasten flasks. Do that a little bit later. Let us make this right. I regret Good that one hit. proper kill and we're almost done with all of the generators there's just one more left The enemies, just like fools, are beginning to attack each other. Yeah, that's perfect. That could I couldn't have asked for more. Moves to here. Let's hope we can reach that last thing. Yep, very good. It is ashes. Then it is time to go. Good, we're reloading.
Okay, let's give everybody the Herald again, which by the way is super good on her because the cooldown for the Herald also always um, reduces, right? So instead of every four rounds, in reality, having it on her means you can do it every two rounds. Moves to here. And we're just putting evasion on. There's no time to waste. I'll let them come. Nice. They just self-exploded. <laughs> the mesmerization or mesmerizing is uh, actually quite good ability. Never mind. Bleeding and time. burning. Has there been ever a sweeter combination? Maybe curry and rice. Or psychon and tactical games, but not much more than that. Good. We are indeed moving up. Let's curse her. And let's also give her a debuff 40% um, more damage. I like that. That's a really good debuff. Look at just how much damage we're dealing. Stress plus lots of extra damage. That was your last chance. Whoa, you must practice a lot. Um look, we could Hit him. Almost got him killed. That's a sure kill. A glass job. And that'll mean we're going to burn, but it also means we're not going to take any damage from him. Hit games. I hope you stay on our side. Into if I must build kill. Peace on a and of wait, 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 wait. We want so to make it. sure that we're staying in round mode. I've already had that a couple of times. We're burning. If we're not, if you're not immediately switching to round based uh, mode. It kills you very, very, very fast. Okay. Don't wander. I would say that that was arguably a very, very clean fight. Should be of interest. To Got that. some intel over here. Some lore that we don't need. A black moat of fate. Hand. Some more hands from the undrawn hand. More supplies. You can already see a couple of secrets are hidden here. More ether. Firebombs aren't really my thing. 
There might be a great combination that I am over uh, uh, seeing where firebombs can be the absolute best uh, thing since the invention of sliced bread. But at the moment, medical kits are simply better and, and frag grenades are also better. Not bad. Giving her two frag grenades is just very, very good. And everybody now has a medical kit, which I would say might be just my playstyle, but medical kits seem to be amongst the very, very best um, things that you could Close call. that you could use Close for yourself. Children. This way. I tend to build defensively, also with the characters, and uh, tend to use mechanics that give you better armor, uh, better defense and healing in this game. It's just absolutely great. Await me. Okay, we haven't found any second wind. I smell fear. Which I wanted to get. Without it, it might be a bit more difficult to Come. get through there. Let's get the second wind first. And maybe we're fighting against the big boss next. Do we have high ground somewhere so that our crit chance is better? Look, I'm just looking for a second wind, okay? He must be dead. You have made Never mind. Okay, so apparently, as far as I can see, he does not Together mind now. being up and uh, close and personal. So that's a problem. We have righteousness on our side. Good. All of you get extra AP. That's fine. I love it. And then we're going to put ourselves into cover. Cool. Then how about okay, uh, cold gambling? I could use that extra AP. Hmm, apparently not. Your weakness is obvious. Defense minus forty percent. Fantastic. When the shadows deepen, so too the light. More debuffing. And we're moving up. And step very nicely. Uh, just out of curiosity. Maybe I should have positioned her somewhere else. I don't know if you can knock down this guy. You dare! 73 points of damage. Fantastic. We're pushing him back. My shirt! He's immune to knockdown, but he can be dazed. Cool. And then... I am not finished. This is not only applying stress, but... 
it's also uh, he has also been dazed okay cool Oh, nice. Last. Uh, can we continue to hit him with curses? Is he still cursed? Can't gambit. bleeding and he's pretty low we might even be able to kill him it is not over until we meet again <laughs> keep close good all of you guys we have to. are getting healed and your signature abilities get full charges uh, which means we're getting some second wind All right. wow that was a good fight I like that extra 40% uh, damage that curse is bonkers really good for enemy takedown have you seen just how much damage he took 70 per hit he was almost dead after the first iteration. He had a couple of nice moves himself. That AoE uh, life leech and so on. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Wait for me. My sister and brother showed me how to do this. That's not right. This should buy you some time. Good. Two of these guys are down. Correction, three of these guys are down and we have used all of our abilities anyway, so might as well start here. Extra action points? Yes, please. Inspiration for everyone? Yes, please. Not 100% sure if we can even be shot at whilst we are in the brushes potentially not but even if we can I want to get that guy down gambling again this time it worked holy moly 40% more damage check Great hit. Oh wow, and he's poison weak. Ingrid moves up. There's no time to waste. Gives a self evade.
Can't really hit anyone. Oh, someone's moving around here. Interesting. You can still hide behind uh, the the little keg here. Hush. Forget your fears. Good. Now. We're taking this guy over. So now he's mesmerized. And whilst we're at it, I would love to uh, to buff Ingrid. Isn't that a lovely sight? Excellent. Now do it again. Good. Ingrid gets extra speed. Fantastic. This guy lost his cover. Thanks uh, to being knocked down. And we just got motivate again. You can help wow, this overall combination is strong. Anna Sophie really wants she. Uh, if you can make sure that she can hit and knock down is a sure way thing of doing that, then she becomes really, really strong. No hard feelings. Good, we got Killer Instinct with that. Take this. Just evade and uh, wait for the next turn. For starters, everybody gets a nice little bit of inspiration. Then we're moving up and reducing cooldowns further. Right between the third and fourth Look at that triple Let's cooldown see. reduction. <laughs> Which means she's almost ready for another round. Unfortunately, more stress. Um. We can still hit that agent there. Your time has come. Set it up to be now stick and move killed, then we're moving over. You couldn't keep up. Yeah, if Celestine would not be melee, I think the character would be absolutely S tier. I'm not a hundred percent sure how to feel about her melee yet. Last job. 
You're in over your head. We're getting some more, uh, some more actions here. Now you know your place. And we almost got the enemy down. It's just one more enemy to go. No glamour here. This way. Relatively smooth overall fight. Let's move. There's the key that we were looking for. Let's get on with it. Not a hundred percent sure what that uh, melee behind the uh, gate was supposed to do. Without opening the gate, they would never have been able to even get to our side. Maybe via the letters, and I've just missed it. It is accomplished, and Strum's hold on this place is weakened. That'll make him mad. Well, we pretty much curb stomped Strump. He didn't see that one coming. 40% extra damage and then whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The triple lady squad is good. I like it. Sometimes a little bit low on the DPS side. And I think Celestine needs way more investment. The 50-50 on her uh, gambit is also not that great. Uh, in the last one... You saw just how it could turn all the way against you. So, target teammates next attack deals 60% more damage. I think that's a perfect one for you. Ah, the Sage is also good. I can't really take that one out. The Herald is too good. Like, that would be a third card. Grant a teammate uh, plus one evade. That one is good. Uh, cooldowns are reduced. Okay, so the speed is great and the wave is great as well. Ah. Six percent more damage is really nice. I mean, the im could be something that Ingrid is doing. Cooldown reduction on critical hits and more crit chance. I think we're going to put that in, in one of the slots. Death hasn't caught me yet, but he is a Good. That's that will give her better cooldown reduction. And now it's just a question do we want that extra damage or not? She needs to attack herself to reduce cooldowns. Celestine, on the other hand, so and so. I don't think she needs uh, to attack. I like her buffing side, uh, but the wave is too good to let it go, and also that plus speed is too good to let it go. Evade isn't uh, isn't the worst idea, and the Sage is just a really good card all around. The cooldown reduction is fantastic. Herald um, also very very good. Yeah, as much as it pains me, I think we're going to discard that. What did you find out there? Good, we're having a couple of this we can act on. We have a couple of options that we're gaining uh, throughout uh, these missions. There is another, another tower. We already know that. Not sure what these tower missions are. 
you can see Strump is being hindered. We got a minus one threat event, but unfortunately Marteau uh, got a hiring spree. The future has a name, and that name is Marteau. Of course, progress comes at a price, and you, my friends, are going to pay it in labor, working the assembly lines until your bodies break down and then we'll work your souls there's a place in Marto industries for everyone the living and the dead alike welcome to the future it's the only one you'll ever know sounds a bit like Warhammer 40k you all okay you look like you've seen a ghost Okay, so, Ink. Let's start with Agents. I like the idea. That would cost a lot to upgrade it. Teammates, uh, all teammates, and dispel all debuffs. Well, the dispel all debuffs is great because it is an AOE dispel. And it requires a lot of ink to further improve it. So I think level 3 is okay for now. Um... We do have... Still no serenity, but we do have skill points. She's fully maxed. And here we could get either a bigger healing circle. Or uh, stress and that extra AP whenever she uses an ability or consumable to heal a teammate. Yeah, that makes her ability effectively free, and this here will give her more uh, more stress resistance. Plus, to be fair, with all of uh, her extra damage uh, that uh, she's piling up, her shots are actually good. Well, they're not bad. They are not bad at all. Um, looking at Anna Sophie, what is she packing here? Reload abilities, reduce cooldowns. Yeah, one of the things that I notice is she just doesn't have a totally great magazine. So maybe we're giving her uh, more max ammo. At the moment it is better hit chance, so mm, uh, I think we're sticking with a better hit chance. We got a weapon mod plus 10% crit chance. And whoever is critting is effectively regaining. Uh, but I think her crits are fine for now. Weapon mod gives 25% chance to inflict blinded. I think she's better off with a crit and she could uh, use blinding just as an extra status effect i like celestine uh, she starts to grow on me and soon we have enough uh, sp uh, skill points to maybe upgrade a third agent i'm not 100 percent sure i mean latif seems strong as well uh, with all of his um, with all of his abilities Specifically the evasion tanking. That's not bad. And he deals a decent amount of damage. On the other hand, I also don't know how good uh, the new guy Isaac is with his LMG. He certainly fe uh, fills a niche in our team that others mm -hmm. haven't been filling so far. Okay. We're working on good stuff. Good stuff? This here isn't bad. Attacks gain a 33% uh, chance to reload ammunition. Oh, you will enjoy using.
Indies. Guess who's continuously out of uh, ammo? You wish to guide the hand of fate? Through this, I serve the divine. Guess who's continuously out of ammo? Damn right, it's Eddie. The one and only lonely Eddie. Good. Almost all of well, all of them do have decent equipment now. Don't need to build anything. We're sitting on 700 supplies. That's a good start. Uh, just waiting until we're getting better uh, gear. But that requires, I think, our allies to upgrade. Uh, this here is healer recovery three. Something challenging today, I hope. Here we go. Weapons. This is the highest unlock number one. Uh, where's her highest unlock? This is just number two. There's no healing stuff, but he would unlock vitality gear and tier three ar uh, armor. That, it, that in itself is good. They won't walk it for you. Character with three cards. That I think is even better. Yeah, no idea what uh, where we get the KA from. Good world map. Um, yeah, well, hmm. Let her be unavailable. Cool. So as you can see, of course, a lot of action is happening. I think we're going to continue with uh, getting the Castro down. This here, of course, would be a great mission in order to do that, but it would come at the expense of the others making progress. So in a long term, you cannot win against uh, the, uh, this, which is fine. Failure is not an option. Leave nothing to chance. Very good. So... What are the options? We do have uh, these two, right? Uh, the Crossroad Archive, where we get a crit uh, that's a critical mission. There's a critical mission, so we might as well do both of those. Uh, this is just another mission. Steal a tower keystone from the Vanished Court. The catalyst is located. Locks plan. Now we must move. Okay, uh, that done. Okay, that. Okay, so essentially we do have two of the three materials, right? So this is this and this, but we still need to do the missions, and then we need to get the keystones. Apparently, also missions starting to understand slowly but surely uh, what the game considers to be important something something with the agents here I wish I would know what that exclamation mark is well I think that's it uh, for today. Not much more to talk through. Uh, we had a pretty decent uh, mission, and next time we're doing a story mission, one of those quote-unquote critical missions. Hope you enjoy Lamplighter Sneak. If you do, leave a comment and a like down below, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.